Welcome to another video from rcdiy.ca. This video is part of a series of videos and playlists related to sounds and announcements in OpenTX 2.2. This video is also accompanied by separate detailed documentation. Please read the documentation for details on what I will be showing you in this video. There are two locations for this documentation. One copy is on the rcdiy.ca website and another has been contributed to the official OpenTX manual on Gitbooks. Links to the documentation will be placed in the description below this video on YouTube. In this video we will look at how sounds and announcements are mapped to audio files and the file format to use. There is a sound mapping CSV file located in the system folder on the micro SD card. This is used by developers to generate audio files with phrases such as the welcome to OpenTX announcement that is made when the transmitter is turned on with the appropriate sound pack installed. For example, the English sound mapping file for the Tyrannus transmitter is located on the micro SD card under sounds en for English, system, in a file called en-us-tyrannus.csv. This is a text file with one line of text per sound file. Each line has three parts separated by semicolons. The first part is the file location. Next is the file name. And the last part is the spoken phrase. The welcome announcement that is heard when the transmitter turns on is located in a file called hello.wave in the system folder of the English sound pack. Welcome to OpenTX. Audio files for OpenTX are required to have the following audio file format. The file name can be up to six characters, followed by the dot wave extension. The sample rate can be 8, 16, or 32 kilohertz. The number of tracks must be one. The number of bits can be 8 or 16 and the compression codec can be either ULAW, ALAW or PCM. The folder layout for the sound pack is as follows. The sound folder is in the top level of the micro SD card. This folder contains one or more folders which contain audio file with phrases in different languages supported by OpenTX. For example, the English sound pack is in the EN folder in the sounds folder. The language folder contains files used by global and special functions. The language folder also contains other folders such as the system folder. The audio files in the system folder are used by OpenTX for announcements such as telemetry units, telemetry lost and recovered, and the announcements made when the radio is turned on. The language folder may also contain model name folders which are used for model specific sounds and announcements. This will be covered in a separate video. The language that OpenTX uses is set on the radio setup screen. This brings us to the end of this video which is meant to be a brief overview. Please follow the links below to the blog post for details 
and watch the other videos in this playlist. To support this channel, please like, subscribe and follow the links below.